Cinco de Mayo is a time of celebration that's filled with food and fun. In commemoration of the Battle of Puebla in 1862, it's a holiday that is often looked at as the official kickoff time for the month of May. And of course, Cinco de Mayo has a lot of favorite dishes that come along with the festivities and the biggest one being guacamole. So we decided to reach out to our friend and enlist his help for our Cinco de Mayo guacamole, Chef Junior Marino, owner of M Cantina in Dearborn. Thank you so much for being with us. Hi, how are you, Tati? Good morning. I'm good morning, good morning. For me, it's not a party if there's not guacamole. So what do you say is essential to making the best guac possible? So we start with the, obviously, ingredients are like the most important uh, thing in making a really good guacamole. The avocados have to be at the right uh, ripeness. Also, it has to have the really nice green color, as you can see, of the avocado. We're just going to scoop it out. Also, all the other ingredients that we have here, such as the jalapeno, you know, depending on how spicy you like your, jalapeno, your guacamole. But in this case, I, I'm only using one jalapeno. Also, I'm using a little bit of uh, chopped cilantro. Cilantro, there's different types of cilantro. So in this case, I use Mexican cilantro. The leaf is a little bit um, thinner, and also it's a little bit more perfume. Uh, the, m most of the time, the cilantro you find here in the U.S., it looks more like parsley. The leaves are really big, and it's not the flavor is not as uh, perfumey or as flavorful. And we have here half of, of an onion, which is all already chopped. This is a uh, red onion, or, and then we have here one tomato. The tomato uh, that we're using, it really depends, you know, on uh, how much tomato you want to put in your guacamole, but in this case, I use this medium tomato, and I use beef steak tomatoes. Also, um, we have fresh lime juice, which we're going to put in a little bit, and the tools that you need to actually make a nice guacamole, you can use, uh, if you have a mojajete, please go ahead and use it. I have here the guacamole already made in the mojajete. But here we have the avocados, which I'm using a bowl. Three avocados. I'm gonna use a potato smasher and also a spoon to scoop it out. Now, the potato smasher is to actually make it easy to make the guacamole just to smash the avocados. So if you like the guacamole to be nice and chunky, then you don't want to squish it too much. But if you want it nice and creamy, you know, you got to make sure that all the little pieces are broken and it's going to give you a really nice creamy texture to the guacamole. Now we're going to start adding all the different ingredients which we have here. We're going to start with the tomato. Now tomato and avocado, it's a fruit. Uh, we're going to add the spicy fruit, which is the jalapeno. We're going to add the onions. The onions, um, I don't like to put a, a lot of uh, like onions or of anything. I like my guacamole to be nice and balanced. Here we're gonna put the cilantro. The salt is extremely important. We're using um, natural salt from uh, Mexico. Salt is more to taste, but we use more or less uh, about a, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a quarter, depending on uh, how much salt you like. Now our Lime juice has to always be nice and uh, fresh. Just squish it all over, press it all over the guacamole. And that's going to keep also your guacamole nice and green for a couple of days once you put it in the fridge. And I will talk in a little bit about the different kinds of chips that we have. We're just going to mix it, stir it a little bit so that the salt, the lime juice, and all the different ingredients, they mix together. And it's going to give us a really nice, beautiful green color. What, what, yeah, your guacamole is delicious. What other items do you have to show us? Oh, so here we have the different kinds of uh, chips that you can use for your guacamole. We have the traditional Ooh. corn chips. Then we have our plantain chips. All of this, you can get it here at the cantina. The plantain chips, we make them fresh. So anytime you order something, we, uh, we make everything to order. Here I have what I'm offering for Cinco de Mayo. This is a special. This is barbacoa. It's traditional from my town in Puebla. Um, barbacoa is the way my dad actually has always been making it. Usually he makes it underground. In this case, we use the oven. But the flavor is going to be very uh, similar because the ingredients, we do bring them directly from my town. So the flavor that you're going to 
get is going to be very unique. It's going to be the crispy uh, goat, uh, crispy onions, a little bit of the pico de gallo, and on top it has a, a little bit of arugula. Junior, thank you so much for being with us for Live in the D. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Tati.